One of the goals of nutrition education is to remove barriers for students so that they can focus on learning. There is a, a committee that meets triannually to assess the wellness policy and determine if there are any changes that need to be made based on what's happening in our district or based on any of the, the state laws that are coming down the line. governor introduced a funding called Universal Meals for All, where it, it supports all the nutrition programs in California and allows us to feed students a no-cost breakfast and a no-cost lunch every day. Having the opportunity to get a no-cost breakfast and a no-cost lunch or be any different than their peers is, is huge. We're not identifying the socioeconomic status of a student based on how they're getting the meal. Everybody gets the meal no matter what. It feels pretty good to know that we have the ability to feed all these children. We are literally feeding kids what they need for their brains to wake up and be active and to learn. When kids are hungry, when they're sitting in class, you know, tummies are rumbling, they can't focus on learning. And, and there's actually been lots of studies that show that students that don't have proper nutrition, they, they don't have as good a concentration or focus as students that do. We're trying to average about 2,000 meals per production kitchen. So those main kitchens are also considered production kitchens. They're the ones that have all of the ovens and the steamers um, because our elementary sites aren't necessarily equipped with all of the stuff that's needed to do scratch cooking. The Nutrition Education Department, a big focus this year is on 40% scratch cooking, taking our entrees from package to scratch cook. I go over the menus and make sure that everything is meeting all of our guidelines for calories and sodium is also a big one. There are a bunch of different guidelines for fruits and vegetables and there's different subgroups that we need to meet so there are different fruits and vegetables every day. That's why on our salad bars you basically can eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. The key to making a balanced meal for the student is offering those choices. We really empower our staff. We work really closely with our registered dietitian to make sure that um, if, a, if a student you know, has any uh, medical issues and they need gluten-free or soy-free or peanut-free, we got that. We allow vendors to essentially bid on providing us services. And so once those vendors are selected, they deliver product to one of our two warehouses. We have a dry warehouse and we have um, like a cold storage warehouse. So my responsibilities is pulling food, 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 putting them on pallets, delivering to various schools that their hot meals and cold meals. And then later on we come back and we get the, uh, the hot carts and the cold carts from the the schools and deliver them. The main thing is getting the product to them because those kitchen staffs depend on me. As long as the kids are happy and have a good meal, I'm happy. And so once the food comes into that warehouse, um, it gets put into an inventory system and then the staff at the school sites order the food based off of the menu. I make sure that food is sent out to my satellite schools and that they have an adequate quantity of food and feed all of these lovely children. <laughs> One of the best parts of the day is going into the cafeteria. The lunch staff, if you think about it, they are literally touching the lives of every single student that they see on that school campus.